Yeah, Evan, the DOJ lays out their lawsuit pretty clearly. They accuse Oklahoma of trying to assume federal powers of deporting people and enforcing immigration law. But the state's top lawyer, the Oklahoma Attorney General, says the state is well within its rights. We fully anticipated that once the bill would be enacted, that the Biden administration would arrogantly treat Oklahoma like it's one size fits all. Oklahoma Attorney General Gettner Drummond says he's ready for a legal fight. In this lawsuit filed Tuesday, the Department of Justice accuses the state of creating a state specific immigration system that effectively seeks to regulate, quote, non citizens' entry, re entry, and presence in the United States. The feds say Oklahoma is copying a similar law in Texas that gives their law enforcement the power to deport. Drummond says Oklahoma's law, House Bill 4156, is materially different different. How is it materially different in comparison to that Texas law? Right. So we don't pretend to be the federal government in Oklahoma. We are the Oklahoma government. And so states don't have the right to deport people. And this law does not attempt to deport anyone. Rather, Drummond says the law orders those found to be committing crimes and in the country illegally to simply leave Oklahoma. If you're an illegal immigrant in Oklahoma and obeying the law, I don't have any concern for you. And I wish you to have success as you work through the process of legally immigrating. Leading critics of the bill, like Oklahoma City Senator Michael Brooks Jimenez, says the law is a political move. If all we want to talk about are, are national politics, Biden this, Trump that, maybe that's, that's why they're doing this and why they're pushing an, an unconstitutional law. This could not be further from a political issue. This is a law and order issue. I am the chief law officer for the state of Oklahoma. I need a tool to combat illegal operations in the state of Oklahoma. And that lawsuit was filed in federal court here in Oklahoma, but no date has been set for when that case will be heard. That Texas law we mentioned is still tied up in the courts and has yet to be enforced. For the Oklahoma law, it's set to go into effect on July 1 here in Oklahoma. Reporting live at the Capitol, I'm Andy Weber, KOCO 5 News.